Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at another problem from our set of AMC 10 counting problems, and let's see what we have. A restaurant offers three desserts and exactly twice as many appetizers as main courses, and a dinner consists of an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. What is the least number of main courses that the restaurant can offer so that the customer can have a different dinner each night of the year? So let's try to unpack this problem here. Um, we essentially have a dinner which we define as a compound set of appetizers, main courses, and desserts. Now in real life, your choice of main course may have something to do with your choice of appetizer or vice versa. But for the purposes of these problems, uh, it's customary to interpret that your choice of appetizer is independent and not connected with your choice of your main course, and they're not connected in any way to your choice of dessert. So essentially that makes our counting quite a bit simpler as we'll see. So let's define a few terms. We have the number of desserts equal to three. We have the number of main courses uh, to be determined, so we'll just call that M for now. And we have the number of appetizers equal to twice the number of main courses by the statement of the problem. So at this point it's helpful to calculate the number of compound sets that we can calculate from this combination of desserts, main courses, and appetizers. And again, because we've determined that these choices are independent and not connected, we can calculate the total number of arrangements as being the number of choices for the desserts times the number of choices for the main course times the number of choices for the appetizers. So that equals 3 times m times 2m, which equals to 6m squared. And now we're going to subject this to the condition that we want the customer to have the ability to have a different dinner each night of the year. And so what that essentially means is that we want the total number of compound sets that we're forming here to be greater than or equal to the number of days in the year, 365. And at this point, we can just start doing a little bit of algebra. Let's divide both sides by 6. So m squared is greater than or equal to 365 divided by 6. Well, let's just make it approximately 366 divided by 6. That makes our math just a little bit easier. So we have the condition that m squared has to be greater than or equal to 61. And it's kind of implied from this, since we only have uh, integer possibilities for appetizers and main courses, that m has to be an integer. So we're looking for the smallest possible integer such that m squared is greater than 61. So we just have to kind of think about the squares of integers. Uh, we have 7 squared is equal to, say, 49. And 8 squared is equal to 64. And from that simple list, we, we can notice that uh, uh, a choice of m equal to 7 is not quite enough to satisfy this condition. And the choice of m squared is equal to 64 is just enough to satisfy this condition. So the smallest m that can satisfy this condition is an m equal to 8. And m is the number of main courses. And I think that's exactly what the statement calls for. What is the least number of main courses? m is equal to 8. That is choice E, 8. Anyway, hope that was clear. We'll see you at the next video. Bye.